Life is a journey filled with ups and downs, where finding motivation and inspiration becomes essential. For those who have faith in Jesus Christ and God, this quest is deeply rooted in their spiritual beliefs. Together, motivated by faith in Jesus and God, these forces create a fulfilling life, guiding us through life's twists and turns, leading us towards self-discovery and growth. In the video ahead, we'll explore how faith-based motivation and inspiration can be cultivated, from discovering purpose to nurturing resilience. Join us on this faith-filled journey, as we unlock the secrets to a life filled with motivation and inspiration, all under the loving guidance of Jesus and God. With faith as our compass, we embark on a transformative quest, making dreams a reality under their loving care. Proverbs 11 verse 25 A generous person will prosper. Whoever refreshes others will be refreshed. 2 Corinthians 9 verse 7 Each of you should give what you have decided in your heart to give, not reluctantly or under compulsion. For God loves a cheerful giver. Luke 6 verse 38 Give, and it will be given to you. A good measure, pressed down, shaken together and running over, will be poured into your lap. For with the measure you use, it will be measured to you. Proverbs 3 verses 9 to 10 Honor the Lord with your wealth with the first fruits of all your crops. Then your barns will be filled to overflowing, and your vats will brim over with new wine. Acts 20 verse 35 In everything I did, I showed you that by this kind of hard work we must help the weak, remembering the words the Lord Jesus himself said, It is more blessed to give than to receive. Malachi 3 verse 10 Bring the whole tithe into the storehouse, that there may be food in my house. Test me in this, says the Lord Almighty, and see if I will not throw open the floodgates of heaven and pour out so much blessing that there will not be room enough to store it. Proverbs 22 verse 9 The generous will themselves be blessed, for they share their food with the poor. Matthew 6 verses 2 to 4 So when you give to the needy, do not announce it with trumpets, as the hypocrites do in the synagogues and on the streets, to be honored by others. Truly I tell you, they have their reward. But when you give to the needy, do not let your left hand know what your right hand is doing so that your giving may be in secret. Then your Father, who sees what is done in secret, will reward you. Proverbs 28 verse 27 Those who give to the poor will lack nothing, but those who close their eyes to them receive many curses. Romans 12 verse 8 If it is to encourage, then give encouragement. If it is giving, then give generously. If it is to lead, do it diligently. If it is to show mercy, do it cheerfully. 1 Timothy 6 verse 18 Command them to do good, to be rich in good deeds, and to be generous and willing to share. Proverbs 19 verse 17 Whoever is kind to the poor lends to the Lord and he will reward them for what they have done. Hebrews 13 verse 16 And do not forget to do good and to share with others, for with such sacrifices God is pleased. 2 Corinthians 8 verse 12 For if the willingness is there, the gift is acceptable according to what one has, not according to what one does not have. Proverbs 14 verse 31 Whoever oppresses the poor shows contempt for their maker, but whoever is kind to the needy honors God. Proverbs 28 verse 25 The greedy stir up conflict, but those who trust in the Lord will prosper. 
Acts 4 verses 32 to 35. All the believers were one in heart and mind. No one claimed that any of their possessions was their own, but they shared everything they had. With great power, the apostles continued to testify to the resurrection of the Lord Jesus. And God's grace was so powerfully at work in them all that there were no needy persons among them. For from time to time those who owned land or houses sold them, brought the money from the sales and put it at the apostles' feet, and it was distributed to anyone who had need. 2 Corinthians 9 verse 10 Now he who supplies seed to the sower and bread for food will also supply and increase your store of seed and will enlarge the harvest of your righteousness. Psalm 112 verse 5 Good will come to those who are generous and lend freely, who conduct their affairs with justice. 1 John 3 verse 17 If anyone has material possessions and sees a brother or sister in need but has no pity on them, how can the love of God be in that person? Proverbs 11 verses 24 to 25 One person gives freely, yet gains even more. Another withholds unduly, but comes to poverty. A generous person will prosper. Whoever refreshes others will be refreshed. Proverbs 28 verse 20 A faithful person will be richly blessed, but one eager to get rich will not go unpunished. Luke 6 verse 30 Give to everyone who asks you, and if anyone takes what belongs to you, do not demand it back. Deuteronomy 15 verse 10 Give generously to them and do so without a grudging heart. Then because of this the Lord your God will bless you in all your work and in everything you put your hand to. Matthew 5 verse 42 Give to the one who asks you and do not turn away from the one who wants to borrow from you. Matthew 25 verses 35 to 36 For I was hungry, and you gave me something to eat. I was thirsty, and you gave me something to drink. I was a stranger, and you invited me in. I needed clothes, and you clothed me. I was sick, and you looked after me. I was in prison, and you came to visit me. 1 John 4 verse 19 we love because he first loved us. Proverbs 14 verse 21 It is a sin to despise one's neighbor, but blessed is the one who is kind to the needy. 1 Timothy 6 verses 18 to 19 Command them to do good, to be rich in good deeds, and to be generous and willing to share. In this way they will lay up treasure for themselves as a firm foundation for the coming age, so that they may take hold of the life that is truly life. Galatians 6 verse 2 Carry each other's burdens, and in this way you will fulfill the law of Christ. Proverbs 28 verse 22 the stingy are eager to get rich and are unaware that poverty awaits them. Romans 15 verse 1 We who are strong ought to bear with the failings of the weak and not to please ourselves. Proverbs 21 verse 13 Whoever shuts their ears to the cry of the poor will also cry out and not be answered. James 1 verse 27 Religion that God our Father accepts as pure and faultless is this, to look after orphans and widows in their distress, and to keep oneself from being polluted by the world. Proverbs 11 verse 26 People curse the one who hoards grain, but they pray God's blessing on the one who is willing to sell. 2 Corinthians 9 verse 11 
You will be enriched in every way so that you can be generous on every occasion, and through us your generosity will result in thanksgiving to God. Proverbs 29 verse 7 The righteous care about justice for the poor, but the wicked have no such concern. Proverbs 31 verses 8 to 9 Speak up for those who cannot speak for themselves, for the rights of all who are destitute. Speak up and judge fairly. Defend the rights of the poor and needy. Proverbs 31 verse 20 She opens her arms to the poor and extends her hands to the needy. James 2 verses 15 to 16 Suppose a brother or a sister is without clothes and daily food. If one of you says to them, Go in peace, keep warm and well fed, but does nothing about their physical needs, what good is it? Proverbs 19 verse 6 Many curry favor with a ruler, and everyone is the friend of one who gives gifts. Proverbs 31 verse 9 Speak up and judge fairly. Defend the rights of the poor and needy. Luke 21 verses 1 to 4. As Jesus looked up, he saw the rich putting their gifts into the temple treasury. He also saw a poor widow put in two very small copper coins. Truly I tell you, he said, this poor widow has put in more than all the others. All these people gave their gifts out of their wealth, but she out of her poverty put in all she had to live on. Proverbs 31 verse 31 Honor her for all that her hands have done, and let her works bring her praise at the city gate. Matthew 10 verse 8 Heal the sick, raise the dead, cleanse those who have leprosy, drive out demons, Freely you have received, freely give. 1 Timothy 5 verse 8 Anyone who does not provide for their relatives, and especially for their own household, has denied the faith and is worse than an unbeliever. Proverbs 31 verse 28 Her children arise and call her blessed, her husband also, and he praises her. Matthew 19 verse 21 Jesus answered, If you want to be perfect, go, sell your possessions and give to the poor, and you will have treasure in heaven. Then come, follow me. Proverbs 31 verse 15 She gets up while it is still night. She provides food for her family and portions for her female servants. Romans 12 verse 13 Share with the Lord's people who are in need. Practice hospitality. Proverbs 31 verse 26 She speaks with wisdom, and faithful instruction is on her tongue. Luke 12 verse 33 Sell your possessions and give to the poor. Provide purses for yourselves that will not wear out a treasure in heaven that will never fail, where no thief comes near and no moth destroys. Proverbs 3 verse 27 Do not withhold good from those to whom it is due when it is in your power to act. Isaiah 58 verse 10 And if you spend yourselves in behalf of the hungry and satisfy the needs of the oppressed, then your light will rise in the darkness, and your night will become like the noonday. Proverbs 31 verse 11 Her husband has full confidence in her and lacks nothing of value. Luke 11 verse 41 But now, as for what is inside you, be generous to the poor, and everything will be clean for you. 1 Timothy 6 verse 10 for the love of money is a root of all kinds of evil. Some people, eager for money, have wandered from the faith and pierced themselves with many griefs. 
Luke 12 verse 15. Then he said to them, Watch out! Be on your guard against all kinds of greed. Life does not consist in an abundance of possessions. Proverbs 22 verses 22 to 23. Do not exploit the poor because they are poor and do not crush the needy in court, for the Lord will take up their case and will exact life for life. Matthew 5 verse 7. Blessed are the merciful, for they will be shown mercy. 2 Corinthians 8 verse 14. At the present time your plenty will supply what they need, so that in turn their plenty will supply what you need. The goal is equality. Luke 6 verse 31. Do to others as you would have them do to you. Matthew 25 verse 40. The king will reply, Truly I tell you, Whatever you did for one of the least of these brothers and sisters of mine, you did for me. Proverbs 21 verse 26 All day long he craves for more, but the righteous give without sparing. 1 Peter 4 verse 10 Each of you should use whatever gift you have received to serve others, as faithful stewards of God's grace in its various forms. James 1 verse 17 Every good and perfect gift is from above, coming down from the Father of the heavenly lights, who does not change like shifting shadows. 2 Corinthians 8 verse 9 For you know the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, that though he was rich, Yet for your sake he became poor, so that you through his poverty might become rich. Proverbs 19 verse 25 Flog a mocker, and the simple will learn prudence. Rebuke the discerning, and they will gain knowledge. Proverbs 11 verses 25 to 26 A generous person will prosper. Whoever refreshes others will be refreshed. People curse the one who hoards grain, but they pray God's blessing on the one who is willing to sell. Matthew 6 verses 1 to 4 Be careful not to practice your righteousness in front of others to be seen by them. If you do, you will have no reward from your Father in heaven. So when you give to the needy, do not announce it with trumpets, as the hypocrites do in the synagogues and on the streets, to be honored by others. Truly I tell you, they have their reward. But when you give to the needy, do not let your left hand know what your right hand is doing, so that your giving may be in secret. Then your father, who sees what is done in secret, will reward you. Proverbs 31 verses 11 to 12. Her husband has full confidence in her and lacks nothing of value. She brings him good, not harm, all the days of her life. 2 Corinthians 9 verse 6. Remember this, whoever sows sparingly will also reap sparingly and whoever sows generously will also reap generously. Matthew 6 verses 19 to 21 Do not store up for yourselves treasures on earth, where moths and vermin destroy, and where thieves break in and steal. But store up for yourselves treasures in heaven, where moths and vermin do not destroy, and where thieves do not break in and steal. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. Matthew 6 verses 3 to 4 But when you give to the needy, do not let your left hand know what your right hand is doing, so that your giving may be in secret. Then your Father, who sees what is done in secret, will reward you. Proverbs 11 verse 24 One person gives freely, yet gains even more, 
Another withholds unduly, but comes to poverty. 1 Peter 4 verse 9 Offer hospitality to one another without grumbling. James 2 verses 14 to 17 What good is it, my brothers and sisters, if someone claims to have faith but has no deeds? Can such faith save them? Suppose a brother or a sister is without clothes and daily food. If one of you says to them, Go in peace, keep warm and well fed, but does nothing about their physical needs, what good is it? In the same way, faith by itself, if it is not accompanied by action, is dead. 1 Corinthians 13 verse 3 if I give all I possess to the poor and give over my body to hardship that I may boast, but do not have love, I gain nothing. 2 Corinthians 9 verse 8 And God is able to bless you abundantly, so that in all things at all times, having all that you need, you will abound in every good work. Proverbs 22 verses 22 to 23. Do not exploit the poor because they are poor and do not crush the needy in court for the 